As all of you know, Hurricane Harvey made landfall in Texas late last week as a Category 4 storm. It was the country's first Category 4 storm since 2004. And since then, it has pounded the Texas coast from Corpus Christi and Rockport to Galveston and Houston and all the way to Beaumont and the Louisiana state line. We've even felt some of the effects as far inland as here in Austin and in San Antonio. And while some computer models predicted feet of rain, it was hard for some to imagine that those models could be anywhere close to being accurate. All any of us could do was to be as prepared as possible. And that is what TxDOT did for days leading up to landfall. We got prepared by following our hurricane response plan. We staged barricades and cleared known flood prone areas on our system to make sure they were as prepared as possible to handle the rainfall. We staged employees and equipment from several areas of the state strategically in both our Bryan and San Antonio districts so they could be dispatched once we knew exactly where the storm was going to hit. And today we continue to execute on that plan. There are more than 2,200 employees, more than 1,800 pieces of equipment on the ground monitoring, clearing, and repairing more than 400 impacted on-road systems across the region. I'm happy to report that that 400 is down from over 500 just um, yesterday. Obviously, that's not counting the hundreds of employees who are also supporting them on the road, making sure that the workers on the road have the tools, the equipment, and the supplies that they need to do their job. And we have even more employees that are staffing emergency operations centers, manning our highway condition phone line to talk one-on-one -on -one with Texans to help them navigate safely around flooded areas and to offer a voice of comfort. Our drivetexas.org site and highway condition hotline were tremendous helps in this effort. With nearly 95,000 calls to the phone line and another 3 million hits to the website since late Wednesday, late last Wednesday. And some on our team have been involved in high water rescues helping to evacuate untold number of citizens. And while we know there's still much to do, I want the citizens of Texas to know this. We are there with them and for them. Texas is depending on TxDOT and TxDOT is delivering. But most importantly, I want to offer my special thanks to our employees who are on the job working 12-hour shifts during this disaster. I know how hard you're working. I know the long hours you're putting in. And I know that many of you are making personal sacrifices to get the job done. I know that there are employees who have suffered great personal losses and are out there continuing to do their jobs. But that's the TxDOT spirit. Coming together as a team and putting others in the job ahead of ourselves. Your selflessness is evident and it is very much appreciated. On behalf of all your TxDOT family and the great people of Texas, we thank you for your service. We thank you for all that you do, and you make TxDOT proud.